Tallahassee with one eye on his agenda and another on his legacy, Gov. Rick Scott focused Tuesday on his familiar theme of job creation but also called for more funding for education, the environment and to fight the opioid epidemic in his final State of the State address. In the speech that kicked off the first day of the legislative session, Scott also recognized Sergeant Sam Howard and Officer Matthew Baxter, two Kissimmee officers killed in the line of duty last year, and Orlando Police Lieutenant Deborah Clayton, slain while trying to apprehend murder suspect Mark Eth Lloyd. Scott took credit for the 1.5 million jobs added in Florida since he took office in 2011 and the economic recovery in general since the Great Recession. He added that he would push hard for his priorities this year, which include cutting taxes by $180 million and making it harder for future lawmakers to raise taxes. Our work is not done, Scott said. We must secure our future by investing record funding in our environment, our education system and our transportation infrastructure. Scott has recommended an $87.4 billion budget to lawmakers, the largest of his term in office, with funding increases for nearly every agency and more than 500 additional state workers. Democrats see Scott's push for greater spending as an election year conversion as he considers a run for U.S. Senate they contend Florida's recovery has been led by low-paying jobs in urban areas, leaving out rural counties in Florida. According to federal data, Florida's average hourly wage was $21.18 as of May 2016, well below the national average of $23.86. Obviously it's only going to be a pretty picture that's painted here today, Rep. Evan Jen, D. Dania Beach told the Associated Press. You can make numbers dance and when you look at 1.5 million jobs. It looks good, but when you look at what people are actually making it's not a good look. This year, Scott's tax cut plans include a 10-day back-to-school sales tax holiday and a reduction in the driver's license renewal fee from $48 to $20. He also wants lawmakers to pass a proposed constitutional amendment that would require a two-thirds vote of the legislature to raise taxes in the future. If approved by the legislature, the measure would be placed on the November ballot. As he spoke about Clayton, Scott without mentioning her name took a shot at Orange Osceola State Attorney Aramis Ayala for her stand against the death penalty last year. Ayala initially refused to seek the death penalty against Lloyd and Scott transferred that case and more than 20 others to a different state attorney. In Florida, we have zero tolerance for anyone who attacks our law enforcement officers, and I will fight to make sure justice is swift and these killers are prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, Scott said. It's not clear, however, just how much support Scott can garner for his agenda from his fellow Republicans in charge of the legislature during his last year in office. GOP lawmakers have often given Scott a fraction of tax cuts he requested. Scott wants to use rising local property tax values to help pay for increases in K-12 school funding.